Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Bolt to the Beta Channel Insiders. And this latest bolt, 22635.2486, was rolled out on the 19th of October, which was once again late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, that was made available with the most recent beta channel update, KB5031459. And just like the Canary and Dev channels for this week, there's not too much going on in the beta channel. All three channels have received so-called light builds. But nonetheless, um, if you do want to stick around and just have a look at some of the changes and improvements that Microsoft is busy with in the beta channel, then just to go through these in case you would be interested. Now, the changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel uh, include two changes to the start menu. So if we head up to the all apps list, if you are in the beta channel, system components like the file explorer in the all apps list in the start menu will actually now show a system label next to that or underneath that saying system components to identify that as an actual default component of Windows 11 over and above being an app that you can install as an example from the Microsoft Store. So this is very similar to what we see now in the actual Microsoft Store where system components do have that text next to um, those actual components just to identify them and differentiate them between other apps that you can install. And I actually think, as I've mentioned previously, that is a nice move. And then, as I've mentioned uh, for the Canary and the Dev channel this week, uh, the Xbox Game Bar is now just simply called Game Bar. And um, that's rolled out across the board, even in the stable version. So that's a change now that's available across the whole Windows 11 platform. And then a um, a feature that Microsoft rolled out in a previous beta channel build, 22631.2129, has been temporarily disabled. And that's the improved screencasting experience that was introduced back then. And um, they have disabled uh, this improved screencasting uh, because there are some bugs. So they have to fix some bugs. And Microsoft does say they plan to re-enable this in a future beta channel flight. So just take note of that if you are finding yourself in the beta channel. And then um, there are a couple of fixes, two fixes that are rolling out for everyone in the beta channel. And um, they fixed an issue causing the start menu uh, to crash on launch if the display language was set to check or Slovak. So that's a bit of a crash fix. And I always say any fix that addresses a crash is an important fix. And then, um, as I've mentioned previously, if we head over to our taskbar settings and we click on the search and we choose search icon and label, as I've posted previously, and I'll actually leave that video down below, they fixed an issue where the search icon in the taskbar wasn't appearing correctly for people using search icon and label. So this little search um, label was kind of covering up that magnifying glass. And it was making it look like the Windows Search C bug, as I called it, making that magnifying glass look like a C. And that's also been addressed in the stable version. So that's a fix, obviously, that was um, a problem across the board. So I'll leave that video down below, but that's also been addressed. So that's more or less, guys, what's so-called new and improved in the beta channel for this week. And as mentioned, a very light build. And that's build 22635.2486. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.